The file as prepared from step one includes two regions defined on these spectra that are set up to extract the B1 parameter from the cross section and the raw peak area from the second region that has a skip background type. And these are going to be used to create a formula that we can enter into this table here to calculate the film thickness. So the formula that we're interested in uh, entering is this one here and also uses this one here for the L. So we want the amount of substance and the L parameter which will feed into the amount of substance and together they will give us the film thickness provided we can create such a formula. So to do this what we're going to do is go to the directory where the CASA XPS executable is located, there's the executable, and there's CASA XPS.CQL directory which contains a set of files here which are TXT files and these represent examples such as this one here of how to calculate the effective attenuation length for in this case for carbon 1s and we'll need to create ourselves a new file within this directory and this new file is going to be a txt file and it's going to be the non interactive tugar approach and within this file we need to set up a definition that will lead to the calculation of the film thickness now just to give you a, a further preview of what we're going to do it, this is a file that has been previously set up and it contains entries such as this one which is a, a definition entry which tells me what lambda is equal to and it's going to be equal to 3.52 in this case and there's a B0 parameter and these are all set up so that ultimately when this file is loaded each time you see one of these definitions it'll be substituted with the value that's been associated with the definition so we've got the first three parameters here uh, actually the first four parameters including cosine theta where these data have been measured an angle of zero for the surface normal to the extraction angle therefore when we substitute this into equations such as this one here for calculating L that we will end up with the right relationship which can then be fed in to these terms here and ultimately we'll have the amount of substance will be calculated using a ratio of two predefined terms that are all deriving from the equations that you see here We need to have, let's lower these ones, we have our empty file and the empty file that is currently located here in the CQL directory and if I press this formula button here you'll see that it lists the entries in the, in the directory and you can see that the file that I've just created is one of these entries now so it's a question of entering the right to information to create a formula in the table that will appear here. So we'll begin by saying we need to enter what we mean by lambda. So we give it a string and that's a string of your choice and then we'll give a value and we calculated 3.41 using the previous analysis for lambda we need to set up a value for B0 and B0 will be the value for the parameter from a, a thick film of PP hex and we'll also need a value for a HP which again is the area from the thick film of 
pp hex and i'm yet to find out what these values are but we will enter them when we get them and then we also need to say cosine theta as i said before since it's going to be one cosine of zero is one we'll enter that and then we'll do the first definition of l so l is equal to now let's have a look at the equation is b1 times lambda cosine theta and that's divided by b0 minus b1 so in this file here i'm going to enter b1 and that's a value that's going to come from the from the data and then we need to have lambda which is going to be a value that's coming from the predefined value up here times and this is just for generality we'll we'll put in the cosine theta so i'm copying and pasting that and that has to be divided by and then again b0 is coming from the value that i'm going to enter here and that's minus the value that's calculated from the data. So I've now got two missing entries, but I've got a formula here that represents the one that you see here. So let's now actually work out what these values for B0 and AHP might be from the data that we've got. So let's see now, that looks like a film the thickest film so what we'll do is we will use the values that are being calculated for b1 and ap from this thickest film to represent our uh, thick layer of pp hex so go to the report spec these are already set up press the tag report and there you i've got two values and these values i can take in copy them and then we will enter them this is going to be here and here so I'll delete the B value and I'll delete the a P value so I've now got a file that contains lambda that's a that's a constant I've got a another constant here another constant cosine and then I'm going to extract b1 from the file and multiply it by these constants that are pre predefined use another constant and subtract the value I'm going to extract from the file so we'll save that and we'll go back and we'll calculate L for the, the data set as, as it exists here so I'm selecting them I want to find the file that I've just set up, select it. It asks me, do I want to clear the existing table? So these are going to be cleared. And I'm going to say yes. And right now, nothing's been emptied. And that's because when I go here, I have no entries that are actually uh, uh, defined other than these definition strings so as it stands this file contains nothing other than definition strings so if I now say I want this to be L and the definition string for L is specified following it and save that file and we'll repeat that process we'll select the file as you can see now we've got a formula and the formula is showing how we calculate L. So if I press tag report, we can get a set of values that are corresponding to the L. So the file in its current state calculates L and we could carry on and include further terms these terms here so there's one term that 
I might want to calculate. There's another one, and maybe this one here. And you can do this by, and I'm, I won't type it all in, what I'll do is I'll go to a previous definition, and you can see how here the various terms are included. And I'll copy that, and I'll add that to my file here. So I've now got within this file that I'm creating, I've got the L defined and I've added new terms, I've called them term one and that's one of these terms that you see in the calculation. There's another term and you can see that if you try to combine all of these in one go, the chances of you being able to accurately enter a formula is, is not so good. But if you can break it down into a set of terms like these, then when you come to combine them to work out the amount of substance, you can express it as a simple ratio in terms of items that have been calculated from these predefined values. So that's the form of the file, and we'll save that. And having done that, we can return to our data set and we've got a set of values, a set of spectra that have been measured from thin films, two that are thick films, and we were only interested in these thin film measurements here. So what I've done is I've selected these VAMAS blocks. I'm going to load the file again because I've just created new entries in it. It wants to clear it. And now I've got an expression here, which is, as you can see, quite a substantial formula that, as I said, would be very difficult to type in directly, but breaking it down makes it possible. And having selected these and I do a tag report, I now get a set of values here that are calculated from the data. These are the values from ellipsometry for these thin, thin films. So I'll create a profile and we'll look at the, the um, amount of substance which is related to film thickness and I will add to this a region. I'll give it a regression type so we can see a straight line and we'll just change the display so that we can see points for the data and We'll turn off the region display and we'll just set the X value to zero to say 16. And the Y value similarly, we'll set that to zero to 16. And one further thing, I'll get rid of this label here by selecting that button and now we can see that we've got a an approximation in terms of a film thickness and how it relates to some values that were determined by ellipsometry and there's a pretty good correlation here and if I look at the values that have been entered into the cross-section field when I've got a regression line I can see that the first term is the residual and then that's the gradient and then we have the intercepts here so you can see it's pretty close to going through the origin here. So there's a, a, a good correlation and we're probably underestimating the film thickness compared to ellipsometry by virtue of the fact the gradient is not exactly one in this case.